This message is for all the married women, single ladies included. Dear ladies, please do not give the respect and the honor that your husband deserves to your pastor. And maybe you don't know this. Your pastor is the third party in your marriage. Do not allow your pastor to come in between you and your husband. If you don't call your husband my lord, do not call any pastor my lord. Your husband is your priority. If you've not given your husband food with turkey or served him food with chicken, do not serve any pastor or any man of God food with turkey and chicken. Please, men, anytime your wife is not respecting you, you notice that she normally kneels down at the sight of a man of God. She calls you Papa Obum, Papa Amandianese, Papa Emaihanako at home. But when she sees the pastor, she kneels down, she calls him my Lord and Daddy. Please take that woman back to her parents' house. Hey, I did not say you should divorce your wife. Don't get me wrong. Take her to her parents' house for proper orientation. If she's not getting better, take her to a psychiatric home. We are really going mad because of this pastor of a team. And do not forget, I am not against any pastor. Please, sisters, respect your husbands. And do not see your husband as your slave because he is not. Most women do not serve their husband food with a breakable plate. But anytime they hear that their pastor is coming to the house, they will go and bring out the plate from where they hid it. And serve their pastor's food with such plates. Meanwhile, you serve your husband food with rubber plates and plastic plates, plastic spoons. The ones that have upgraded are now serving their husband's food with stainless plates or the stainless spoon. Most women kneel down for their pastor to be washing his hand. They are very patient to kneel down and wait for their pastor, but they cannot do that for their husband. Instead, they will tell the man to go to the kitchen and take care of himself. You will claim that your husband doesn't give you money to buy food in the house. But whenever the pastor is coming to the house, you will run to the market to buy the fattest of the chicken, fattest of the turkey. The pastor did not give you money, sister. So how did you manage to get the money? And the innocent pastor will sit down in the sitting room, scattering the turkey and the chicken with his mouth. Please, pastors, you need to start telling these women the truth. Start telling them truth because most of you know that they have issues with their husband. Tell them to go and fix their home because I no matter Most women don't come back to the house immediately they close from church. They will stay in the church for two, three, four, five hours. Others will go to the pastor's house. And they will leave their husband at the mercy of a house help or their children. You will go to the pastor's house. Most of them will be doing things that are very unnecessary. Some will just wash the wall. Others will climb the ceiling and be washing the zinc. If your husband, your pastor needs a cook, he should go and hire a cook. He needs somebody that will be cleaning the house for him. He should go and get a cleaner. He wants to wash his clothes, then he should go take it to the laundry or he should buy a washing machine. I am not against pastors and I am not against you doing anything for pastors. But whatever you're not doing for your husband, please do not do it for your pastor because it's totally uncalled for. Women like pretending. We pretend they're lots. I service, I service. We know that all these things we are doing is just because don't let the man of God say, ah, this one is a good member. You don't respect your husband and you want to respect your pastor. Does he want it? Your pastor has a wife for crying out loud, Sister Beati. You need Jesus in your life. And some of you will say, I am judging. I am not actually judging. Even the Bible said that let others see Jesus in us. Keep telling the story, be faithful and true. You don't claim you're a Christian and you don't respect your, your husband and you go to the church and be praying. Prayer warrior. If the six don't work, please, if you have not started serving your husband food with stainless plates, with breakable plates, you have to start today. Do not call your pastor my lord when you've not called your husband my lord before. Most of us don't call our husband's pet name, but we'll go to the church and be licking the pastor's shoes. Be it a, be it a general superintendent, a state overseer, or a big pastor, regional pastor, he don't deserve such name or such respect when you know you've not respected your husband go and fix your home sister and leave those pastors alone to sort their problems out themselves anytime you start respecting your husband and you're also respecting your pastor then the equation is balanced and tomorrow you will claim that your husband is cheating you most of us will open our mouth and say men are promiscuous in nature when you have left them alone as slaves you run to your pastor 
because you believe that your pastor will help you to solve your problems. But you can kneel down before God. You can stay with your partner and pray with him hand in hand. And problems will be solved. If you're positive minded, whatever you ask God, he will do for you. Call your husband, my Lord. Kneel down and serve him food. Do anything that will make the marriage to be romantic. Not just on the bed, but you know what I'm talking about. Thank you for listening.